hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope everybody's doing well um now today i'm making some cocoa brownies please give this video a like i would really appreciate it um and you would be supporting my channel um now credit for this recipe goes to handle the heat now my oven is preheating at 162 degrees celsius or 320 um, degrees fahrenheit now in my bowl i'm going to add one plus a quarter cup of granulated sugar um, and to my sugar i'm going to add five tablespoons or 71 grams of unsalted butter Now, if you're measuring your sugar with a kitchen scale, um, it should come to about 249 grams. Now, I'm just going to place my butter and the sugar in the microwave for about one minute or until the butter is melted. Okay, so my butter is melted. So, I'm just going to give it a stir. Now I've also lined an 8 by 8 inch baking pan. I've just lined it with some baking paper and just sprayed it with some cooking spray. You can do foil as well and just spray it with some cooking spray as well. Now to my butter and my sugar, I'm going to add some vanilla essence. Um, just a teaspoon and of course you can do vanilla extract as well then I'm going to add my eggs I've got three eggs here but I'm going to use two whole eggs and one egg yolk so you're going to need two large eggs um, and one yolk. Make sure that it's very cold. Then I'm just going to stir in. I'm going to stir in a third of a cup of vegetable oil. And now I'm going to add a three quarter cup of cocoa powder i'm using a dark dutch cocoa now i just got mine at a spice shop i'm using the dark a dark dutch cocoa but you can use any cocoa you could use um nestle cocoa as well um because it has a nice chocolatey flavor Um, and just with my spatula, I'm just going to stir it in. Now, a three-quarter cup of cocoa should come to about 75 grams if you're using a kitchen scale. Now, I'm going to add a half a cup of cake flour, about 63 grams. Um, or you can do all-purpose flour. Also have a eighth of a teaspoon or a generous pinch of baking soda. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, so for my last ingredient, I'm going to add about 128 grams of milk chocolate with some chocolate chips. Um, but you can do semi-sweet chocolate as well. You could leave the chocolate and just add some walnuts or some pecan nuts.
Okay guys, so now I'm going to place my brownies in the oven for about 30 minutes or until a cake tester comes out with a few moist crumbs. Okay guys, so I removed my brownies from the oven. Now you can dust these with some icing sugar or you can eat it as is. You could drizzle some melted chocolate. Um, we like to have it just with some vanilla ice cream. Um, but today I only have a vanilla caramel ice cream. Um, so I'm just going to serve it with that. And I have some chocolate um, that I've melted. Um, and then I just like to drizzle just some over the ice cream. And that is it guys. Please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. And if you haven't already, click the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.